I'm sitting on the floor in front of the next topic. So in this video, as you can see, I'll talk about this next station color. Welcome everybody. This is my new video and let's start. So what is next? Next was founded by Steve Jobs when he was fired from Apple. And well, the naming is uh, simply, yeah, this is the next idea. And I really like this computer. There is one problem with this one. This is heavy. This is why I'm sitting on the floor. Actually, the monitor is approximately 20, 25 kilograms. The machine itself an additional six, seven kilograms. So it is not a lightweight stuff like a C64. As you can see, this is a complete set. So I have the mouse, the keyboard, the sound box, the monitor. Unfortunately, I do not have the stand and the machine itself. And it is not working. There are two issues. The first one is uh, simple. The power on button of the monitor. Yeah, this is not staying on. And the other one is it is not booting. There is some issue with the hard drive or the operating system. I'll figure out it later. Okay, I've removed the monitor and there is only one screw. I need to remove this one to pop off the lid. And let's see what is inside. This is the machine. And as you can see, here we have the CPU. This is a Motorola CPU uh, running on 25 megahertz. So this is a 68,040. Uh, it has a DSP memory. This model usually had 12 megabytes of memory. The lithium battery. This is what you need to replace. Luckily, I already measured this one and it is still working and it is not leaking, which is very important. Yeah, I have the V 2.4 V 65 ROM version. Yes. And here we have the hard drive. I talked about the hard drive and probably this one is failing. I have an idea how to solve this one using emulator. Install there the operating system because then I do not need to connect a CD ROM drive and write the floppy disks and then copy over the image to the SD card and boot from there. This is the emulator. I've downloaded the next operating system from Vimworld PC. So I do not need to install the operating system itself. I just test if it is booting up and I want to show you how to configure the system in previews. The original system was called Next and the emulator is previews. I think this is a real geek humor. So what we need to set is first of all, I need to set the system. So I set it to Next Station. You can set it to Color or Turbo. I prefer to set it according to my exec system. But if you want to have something speedier, because then it can run on 33 megahertz instead of 25, then you can set it that way. Okay, so back to main. You need to set up the ROM files. Uh, as you can see, it is already set. But what you need to do is just click on Browse and set all the binary files. Luckily, they are packaged next to the operating system, so there is no need to do anything. One more thing, if you use Windows, then previews is included as well in the package. What else? Of course, we need to set up the disk. As you can see, I set the file. I set it as disk zero. I really recommend this one because Next tries to boot from disk zero, which is the first drive. So it makes sense to set that way. For the display, it will be color because I already set the next station color. But if you want, you can set here additional boards. You can, of course, save the config or load the config. So I just need to start up the emulator and check out if it is booting up. It is not fast, but at least slow. You could see that it was booting from drive zero. Yes, the disk capacity is uh, almost two gigabytes. 
dismounting the root file system, yes, setting up the network. This is what I have forgot to mention. I also set network so that way I can share files between my computer, my laptop and the emulator. This is really handy if you want to transfer files back and forth. And let's log in. For the root, there is no password, so if you log in without password, it will load the system. And that's it. From this point, it is very easy to install programs like uh, on the network, NFS. Yeah, I put everything here. And from this point, you can install anything. I do not need to install additional packages because I'm already done that. Let's go back to the machine, copy over the image and let me try to boot it up. Okay, so I have everything to turn it on. Uh, I've already installed the SD card as well as I made this dirty trick for the power button. I just need to push the power and let's see if uh, the next OS, uh, I mean next step is booting up. Yeah, it is loading from disk. Now I just need to wait a little bit, a little bit more. I need to log in. Uh, the original setup do not require a username and password. It is logging in with the me user. But if you set up a password, then it is asking for, for the password. It is necessary if you would like to log in as root, otherwise you need to log out, log in, uh, so it is easier to, to set up a password. And set it very simple. So we have the operating system. Let's see what can we tell about the machine. So check out the glue formation panel. So what I do have here is whopping 12 megabytes of memory and the disk image is 2 gigabytes. Of course this is the GB byte, so this is why it is just 1.87. So that's fine and the system release is 3.3. I really like it. As you can see, I have DOS. It is not a joke. Yes, this machine can run a soft PC, so it can emulate a DOS machine as well. This is uh, what I installed, so I'm, I already mentioned that. And I installed a few extras, so let's see. So let's go back here and check out the local apps. As you can see, I have Doom and Soft PC installed as an extra. Let's check out the Doom. Yeah, why Doom? Because it was developed on such machine. So Carmack and his team prepared Doom, especially the the Doom uh, file editor, so the, the levels on this machine. Yeah, what is running? Quite smooth. Yeah, the Windows is very small. I need to increase the size to 200% so that way it is, it is bigger. Yeah, I know it is not running very fast, but what I really like since this operating system is a Unix, I can just simply start the soft PC next to this one. It is slow, but what can you expect from 25 megahertz? Okay, I need to set it up, so I'm booting from this hard disk. So this HDF, and let me just set it, okay. I don't wanna replace my, my existing one. Just continue. I don't want to overwrite it. Maybe I should stop the Doom. Because now it is... It is slow. <laughs> 
with this booting. Cool, right? See if I check like version. Yeah, this is this is MS DOS 5.0. Uh, what can I say? Let's say check out the directory. As you can see, there are a few games and Windows Norton Commander uh, and benchmarks. So let's check out. If Norton Commander is working properly, it takes time until it is it is loading. Let's check out uh, what can be set for that. So, yeah, we can copy those to Unix, Unix to DOS. So, yeah, I can check the information. I have preferences. So, here I can set the, the drives. So, I have right now just a one hard disk, floppy, serial port, memory. Yeah, I've set four megabytes. To be honest, this one is a bit overkill because the average speed is somewhere around 286. So let's say I can reduce it to one or two megabytes, it should be sufficient. Uh, display, display is set to VGA, and so uh, the normal size it is not uh, scaled up. But I can I can go for CGA for. For some speed, I need to start. I forgot to start the Norton Commander. Yeah, this is pretty slow. But this is a full scale emulation, so it means the CPU architecture is Motorola here. So this one is emulating the Intel based. And let's try to start some benchmark. Maybe I cut this part while it is loading. As you can see, this one is approximately a 286. Uh, so the emulator is emulating uh, an FPU as well. And let's see a benchmark result. So I uh, yeah, check just the main system now. And then I'll stop doing because I guess uh, this one is really consuming a lot of the CPU power. As you can see, uh, let's compare it to the 286. This is uh, compared to 286 16 megahertz. So this is, this should be somewhere around 286 running on 8 megahertz or something like that. Maybe 10. But this is really not fast. Okay, let's stop the do. So switch over. Or what I can show you is it is really running behind. So those two can run parallel. So it was the main advantage. I mean, these Unix systems had this advantage. They were able to run uh, multiple programs at the same time. So they were not like uh, the DOS which is a single user, single program thingy. And now maybe I can just check out Windows as well. The funny part, it will ask for set size because uh, it is using a kind of driver and I can set how big should be the screen. So I can set the size of the screen. So now it is set to 744 by 523. I can just click OK. And it is loading Windows. As you can see, I already played with Minesweeper and Solitaire. So it is just, let's say, working. If you had such workstation, maybe you need some Office, Word, Excel, whatsoever. That way she was able to run these programs okay let's exit from this emulator 
Okay, I closed the, uh, the soft PC emulator. Let's see a few native applications. So next applications. I have preview application, print manager library and Webster. Yes, of course, a terminal, which is yeah, it's just Unix, so I can do everything like uh, set or, and here you can see localhost, lots of terminal is VT100, my user is me. So this is, this is pretty, what does me I show you? Not so many things, I have few demos here like billiards application, CD player, chess, or maybe Manda Broad. Yeah, the second one is really looks fine. So I can just start it and let it calculate. Yeah. So I can chess while it is calculating the Manda Broad. I think that way you got some ideas behind that's all for today i hope you enjoyed i'm just shutting down this machine and wish you a nice afternoon goodbye